Professional Design in Canvas course. This is one I'm working on anyway. I'm just going to take a quick look as to what the next one I need to create is. Okay, so I'm doing Open Educational Resources next. Alrighty, so um, I'm going to go to Outcomes. I'm going to add OER. Let me full screen this. Okay, so I will describe the outcome. And I got Grammarly running, which is awesome. That finds my typos in here. Okay, so I'll probably wordsmith that a bit some more later. Where it says exceeds expectations, I can go in here and I can edit this. Now, I'm not in love with the way this works, but I can just type in here and type after this. I don't like that I can't see everything. So what tends to actually happen is that I tend to write them in Word. So I strongly recommend that you think these out and write them out ahead of time. I'm going to do a real quick one here. So exceeds. And this is really what I'm going for in this class. You, if you are moving in the direction of where we want to go, it's a step ahead of where you're at. To me, that's meeting expectations. So this is jar largely the expectations that I use because you should be able to, in this case, at least supplement with the one resource. So I'll have those. I'm going to move this off screen. I've got three monitors up. Um, back to Chrome. And now I can, I'm selecting that first one that I wrote. And I'm going to replace this one here. And just do a command and replace. And I'm going to hit OK. That saves it. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the second one that I wrote. And again, this is a lot easier if you just write everything in Word first. Then I will come over here, highlight all that. Command V, or I'm on a Mac, Command V, Control V would be pasting. And that's how you save them in. Typically, now on these, I've been setting meets expectations as a value of four on everything and mastery at four. I don't expect everybody to completely master these. And I like the highest score. And then I save it. And at that point, then I can go through and I can manage my rubrics. And so I could create a new rubric or use one that's here. And so I could create one for OER. And then when I'm adding my outcomes, and I've got the discussion outcomes all grouped together, so I don't have to think about it. I just import each of the discussion outcomes. And then I'm going to delete that first one because I don't need it anymore. And then I'll grab the specific one for this OER and import that. And that should leave me 20 points. I'll create the rubric. And I haven't gotten it uh, into my assignment yet because I still have to write the assignment and drop stuff in. I'm still working on it. But that's how. I go about using the um, outcomes, creating them, modifying them, and putting them into a rubric. I hope that.